So usually you hear about sales at a mall, not a mall being on sale. As we told you yesterday, along with our news partner, the Jacksonville Daily Record, the Regency Square Mall is being sold. Here's what it looks like inside right now. A far cry from uh, the busy mall when it opened 56 years ago. This is file video of that time. Today, news for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett shows us how the city will be stepping in to force repairs and what the owners are saying. So I'm outside of Regency Square Mall. They asked me not to take pictures more inside, but today we did get confirmation from the owners that a sale is going to go through. They won't say who is buying it and what's going to happen here. I also found out today, too, that the issues, the code enforcement issues that they have that were brought up by Senator Clay Yarbrough, those are being addressed. And here's what we learned today. When you walk through Regency Square Mall, you really don't see a lot of shoppers or stores what you notice is this, a maze of trash cans catching leaking water from the roofs. In a statement today, the company wrote that they have finalized a contract for the sale of Regency Square Mall and that more information will be provided as the buyer's identity becomes public. We showed you yesterday this letter from State Senator Clay Yarbrough to the owners and the city trying to get them to address what he sees as a major health and safety concern at the mall. He's included pictures of the leaking roof and many of the barrels that we saw throughout the mall. After about a month delay, the current owners responded to Yarbrough's letter saying that the sale is being finalized and the new buyer will work with the city to address the code violations. Today, I checked with the city about that and received copies of the citations that have been issued about the leaking roof and the safety concerns. The fines are not that much, about a thousand bucks, but the city says they are now going to see if they need to hold a hearing because of the repeat violations. Some of the few stores remaining are hoping that the mall will remain a mall. Many just don't see it returning to its former glory, like this video shows from 1995. But here's a sample of some of the memories News for Jack's viewers have of the 56-year-old mall. My memories of Regency Square were in the 1960s and 70s when it was fun and a safe place to shop, seeing Jaws as it premiered at the Regency Square Theater. Going shopping every Monday with Mom and going to hang out with my friends on the weekends. This was my favorite mall for years. It's sad to see it go. But there's no official word from the current owners if it will go or what it will become. We will keep shopping for answers. Jim Piggott, Channel 4 the local station.